My names are uh, Pastor Yabash Nyagaka. I want to invite you to our program, which we will start uh, this week and it will continue every week. You will watch a program. As you watch this program, we want to have a series in Family Life. And uh, Family Life mostly is the backbone back of the nation, is the backbone of the society. And we need men and women who depend on God for guidance so that God can speak to them. And uh, these, uh, the best element that will guide us, will give us uh, the direction wherever we are, wherever we work, wherever we do what we do. Even our churches need to have healthy families which can also produce healthy children, healthy people, who can think out of the box and focus in a way that they will live and what they can do. So my viewer this, uh, this day, I want to invite you and I want to tell you that uh, God, is, uh, God has a plan as far as families are concerned. And most of the time, if a family is sick, the nation is sick, the church is sick, so that's why we have decided to give you this program and when we look at the Bible, God has given us a best way that we can uh, relate in our families, family relationship. And before that, I want to pray as I introduce this program to you. Let's pray. Father God in heaven, we want to thank you for this day that, Lord, you have given us to address these few issues we ask you, Holy Spirit, to guide us and speak to your people through the holy name of Jesus Christ, we pray. So, my, my brother, my sister, as you watch, I want to take you to the Bible where the Bible tells us that God is the one who started marriage in the Garden of Eden. When we look at the book of Genesis, chapter 2, verse 16, verse 18, when you go back to 23, you can find and discover that God is the source of marriages. Is not the mind of man. Is not the mind of anybody. God is the one who started marriage and has answers as far as marriage is concerned. All questions and answers as far as marriage is concerned, how you can actually discipline our children, how you can treat your children, how you can interact with your children and the family relationships. Uh, welcome back, uh, my brother, my sister, as we introduce another topic. It was introduction. I welcome you again as I address one topic for today, which is talking about the biblical foundation of marriage. The biblical foundation of marriage is where we find that men can come with several theories as far as marriage is concerned. But when we read the Bible, those who believe that God is the source of marriages, God is the creator, God is the sustainer, God is the provider, when we read the Bible, uh, we discover that God started marriage in the Garden of Eden as he records, as the Bible records it, in the book of Genesis, when you read, as I said earlier, Genesis 2 verse, uh, 2, verse 18, which says, God created man by himself. Man did not create himself. He did not exist by himself. When we read, we discover that God is the source of all this. And I said, when you read down, you discover God says, when he created Adam, he reached at a point when he looked around, he discovered that Adam was alone. Adam was lonely. Adam did not have somebody to share with, to interact with, to, to socialize with. And they said it is not good for a man to be alone. And he concluded that let us create man in our own image. When he created man, he said he cannot continue staying alone because unlike other animals which he created male and female now he came and concluded that we need somebody who is suitable for him and when they created a woman who was created from man and that is why woman is called woman because he, she was named by Adam who was created earlier and when he saw this woman he was excited so as far as 
marriage is concerned, biblical background of marriage, man did not contribute anything to, to, to be created. He did not contribute anything for the wife to be created. When we read in the book of Ephesians, chapter 5, verse 22 to 33, the Bible divines what a man can do, the responsibilities of a man and the responsibilities of a wife. That means when God started marriage in the Garden of Eden, he officiated the first wedding to Adam and, and Eve in the Garden of Eden. So all answers as far as marriage is concerned, God can address them. So my friend, when you have a problem of a family issue, Listen to God, ask God for guidance. When you have issues like the current issues that we have for our young people, we need to go to spiritual guidance. And the spiritual guidance is given by God himself. May the Lord bless you and we wish you the best. May the Lord speak to you as you guide and as you listen to him through the holy name of Jesus Christ. We want to pray with you. Father God in heaven, May you bless the viewers. May you bless my brother. May you bless my sister. May you bless that young man. As Lord, they watch and they follow our link. Lord Jesus, be a blessing to them. Through the holy name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. May the Lord bless you. Welcome.